they must be found. Fire. You said you needed the crystals. Fire. Following the grand reveal by G. Roddenberry, the beloved Star Trek series emerged into the sci-fi universe, navigating a maze of evolving ideas, limited funds, fresh faces, and engaging storylines. The crew bonded closely under the leadership of the unforgettable William Shatner as Captain Kirk aboard the USS Enterprise. The groundbreaking television series, Star Trek, which debuted in 1966, was not without its share of controversies. These ranged from minor misunderstandings to acts of sexism and bigotry involving the cast, crew, and creator. The controversies surrounding the show were often as complex and intriguing as the series itself. One notable controversy involved the production of the show's costumes. With a very modest budget, the producers of Star Trek had to find creative ways to avoid standard Hollywood transactions. To cut costs, they had their costumes made in a sweatshop overnight and smuggled them through a rear window. This unconventional approach raised eyebrows in the industry and added to the show's already growing list of controversies. Another controversy that plagued the show was the alleged acts of sexism and bigotry. Some cast members and crew members were accused of making inappropriate comments and behaving inappropriately towards their female colleagues. These accusations tarnished the show's reputation and led to a tense working environment on set. Despite these controversies, Star Trek remained a beloved and enduring classic. Its impact on popular culture and science fiction cannot be overstated. The show's themes of exploration, diversity, and cooperation continue to resonate with audiences today, making it a timeless and captivating piece of television history. In the end, the controversies surrounding Star Trek only serve to add to its intrigue and mystique. The show's ability to transcend these challenges and become a beloved cultural phenomenon is a testament to its enduring appeal and the talent of its cast and crew. Whether you're a fan of the show or simply a student of television history, Star Trek is a classic that continues to captivate and inspire audiences around the world. It keeps eternity from growing up. This uh, car. Is it what In the creation of Star Trek, Gene Roddenberry had to make a crucial decision regarding the cast. He originally introduced a female first officer named Number One, played by Majel Barrett, who displayed a logical and emotionally detached demeanor. However, after facing pressure from network executives, Roddenberry decided to replace Number One with the now iconic character of Spock, portrayed by Leonard Nimoy. This change allowed Spock to inherit Number One's analytical traits, while also becoming one of the most beloved characters in television history. The casting choice was just one example of the numerous adjustments and controversies that surrounded Star Trek. Despite these challenges, the series managed to air some thought-provoking episodes containing contentious themes that often went unnoticed by censors. For instance, several storylines were believed to subtly criticize America's involvement in the Vietnam War, a highly divisive topic during the time. Such boldness contributed to the lasting impact and appreciation of this classic sci-fi franchise. In the making of the iconic TV series Star Trek, William Shatner, who played Captain Kirk, made some peculiar requests. He asked for a bigger font size for his name in the opening credits and more lines for his character. This reduction in dialogue for other characters led to some tension among the cast members. The writing team also faced challenges while working on the show. Not many professional writers were familiar with science fiction, which resulted in a struggle to find suitable authors. Gene Roddenberry, the creator of the series, had to look beyond traditional sources and even reached out to writers from science fiction magazines and office staff to get the job done. Despite these hurdles, the show gained popularity over time and became a beloved classic. Its impact transcended the small screen, inspiring several movies, books, and spin-offs, solidifying its place in television history. Today, it continues to captivate audiences worldwide, reminding us of the power of imagination and storytelling. Breath, peace, and contentment will fill you. You will know the peace of love. Gene Roddenberry, the creator of the popular 1966 TV series Star Trek, had a reputation for making significant changes to the show's scripts. He often removed ideas he didn't like, which sometimes led to disputes with the writers. One notable example is Harlan Ellison, who demanded a pseudonym after his original script underwent heavy editing by Roddenberry. One controversial episode was The Enemy Within, 
where a transporter malfunction creates two versions of Captain Kirk, one good and one evil. This evil version confronts Janice Rand, a crew member, about her supposed romantic feelings towards him. However, many viewers found this scene uncomfortable and criticized it for being out of character and insensitive towards Rand. Some even felt that it undermined the positive representation of women in the series. Despite these issues, Star Trek remains a beloved classic among sci-fi fans, its groundbreaking storylines, and diverse cast continue to inspire generations of audiences around the globe. As we reflect on this iconic TV series, it's clear how its impact has transcended beyond just entertainment. Through its engaging narratives and thoughtful themes, Star Trek sparked conversations about social justice, technology, and humanity itself. Even today, over five decades since its initial release, this timeless classic continues to captivate our imagination and invites us to step into a future filled with endless possibilities. Warp Factor 8 During the production of Star Trek, Gene Roddenberry, the creator of the television series, had romantic relationships with two of its cast members, Majel Barrett and Nichelle Nichols. His affair with Barrett was particularly significant, leading to their marriage after he divorced his first wife. Meanwhile, Leonard Nimoy, who played the iconic character Spock, faced challenges off-screen. He grappled with public scrutiny and alcohol consumption, but remarkably, these issues never affected his professionalism while working on the show. Despite his struggles, Nimoy remained committed to delivering quality performances, cementing his place in TV history as one of science fiction's most beloved characters. The behind-the-scenes tales of passion and personal battles add depth to this classic television series. While the crew boldly went where no man had gone before, the drama unfolding backstage proved just as compelling. After you touched off your primitive cannon, Captain, we lost the picture the Metron was sending us. In the creation of the iconic television series Star Trek, an interesting situation arose regarding royalties and the theme tune. Composer Alexander Courage was tasked with creating the music for the show, including its memorable theme. Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek, attempted to write lyrics for the theme tune, but they proved to be unusable. Despite this, Roddenberry still received half of the royalties for the theme music, due to an agreement he had made with Courage. As the series progressed, Star Trek faced various challenges. NBC, the network that aired the show, moved it to a less desirable time slot, which negatively impacted its viewership. Additionally, NBC slashed the show's budget, making it difficult for the production team to create the high-quality episodes they desired. These actions led to speculation that NBC intended to cancel the program. Despite these obstacles, Star Trek has endured as a classic in the world of television. Its themes and stories continue to resonate with audiences, and its impact on the genre is undeniable. The struggles the show faced during its initial run only served to make its enduring popularity all the more impressive. It is said that the original pilot episode of Star Trek, titled The Cage, was initially rejected by the network. The reason for its rejection was twofold. First, the story was considered too complex for a general audience, and second, the network executives took issue with the second-in-command being a woman, a character named Number One, played by Majel Barrett. These objections led to significant changes before the show went into production. As for the cast, William Shatner, who played the iconic role of Captain James T. Kirk, was known for his lack of respect towards his fellow actor and friend, Leonard Nimoy, who played the beloved character, Spock. It is unfortunate to note that Shatner did not attend Nimoy's funeral, despite their reconciled relationship before Nimoy's death. This classic TV series, Star Trek, has left an indelible mark on popular culture, inspiring countless spin-offs, movies, and a devoted fan base known as Trekkies. The show's themes of exploration, diversity, and cooperation continue to resonate with audiences today, making it a timeless piece of entertainment. The legacy of Star Trek is a testament to the power of storytelling and the impact that a single TV show can have on the world. Star Trek, a groundbreaking 1966 TV series, is set in the future where space exploration is a reality. The show follows the voyages of the starship USS Enterprise under the command of Captain James T. Kirk. The crew includes the logical Vulcan, Spock, and the ship's doctor, Leonard McCoy. 
The series explores a myriad of themes, including science, diplomacy, and humanity's place in the universe. It's known for its optimistic portrayal of the future and its diverse cast, which included one of the first interracial kisses on American television. Star Trek has achieved several key milestones, including a loyal fan base that has continued to grow through multiple spin-off series and films. The show has also received numerous awards, including a Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation. Despite ending its initial run in 1969, its influence on science fiction and popular culture remains strong. The creation of the 1966 TV series, Star Trek, brought together a unique cast that would become iconic in the world of science fiction. The casting process was thorough, with producers hosting auditions and chemistry tests to ensure the right fit for each role. For the lead role of Captain James T. Kirk, actor William Shatner was chosen. Ader Shatner had already made a name for himself in television and stage acting. His audition showcased his ability to portray a strong and confident leader, making him the ideal choice for the role. Spock, the half-human, half-Vulcan first officer, was played by Leonard Nimoy. Nimoy's audition was not initially successful, but producers brought him back after they couldn't find a suitable actor for the role. Nimoy's portrayal of Spock's logical, and emotionless demeanor, along with his unique chemistry with Shatner, solidified his place in the series. The role of Dr. Leonard McCoy, the chief medical officer, went to DeForest Kelly. Kelly had previously worked with Shatner and brought a warmth and humanity to the character, providing a nice contrast to Spock's logic. Uhura, the communications officer, was played by Nichelle Nichols. Nichols' audition was impressive, and she became one of the first African-American women to have a major role in a television series. The casting of Sulu, the helmsman, was a bit more complicated. George Teki initially auditioned for the role of Spock, but producers thought he would be better suited for Sulu. Teki's audition showcased his ability to bring a sense of calm and focus to the character. The final member of the main cast was Scotty, the chief engineer, played by James Duhan. Duhan's audition demonstrated his ability to bring humor and wit to the character, making him a fan favorite. The casting process for Star Trek was a crucial part of the show's success. Each actor brought something unique to their role, creating a dynamic and memorable cast that would captivate audiences for generations. Gene Roddenberry, the creator and director of the 1966 TV series Star Trek, had a clear and ambitious vision he aimed to create a thought-provoking show that not only entertained, but also tackled important social issues. Roddenberry's creative influences included science fiction writers like Isaac Asimov and Robert A. Heinlein, as well as westerns and war movies. His directorial style was characterized by a commitment to diversity, both in front of and behind the camera. He envisioned a future where people of all races and backgrounds worked together, and he made sure this vision was reflected in the casting and crew of Star Trek. Roddenberry's collaboration with the cast and crew was marked by mutual respect and open communication. He encouraged actors to contribute their own ideas and suggestions, fostering a creative and inclusive environment. This collaborative approach was evident in the development of the characters and storylines, with many actors playing a significant role in shaping their characters' backstories and motivations. One notable example is the character of Uhura, played by Nichelle Nichols. Roddenberry's original concept for Uhura was a minor role, but Nichols's input and powerful performances led to Uhura becoming a groundbreaking character, one of the first African-American women to have a major role on American television. Similarly, Roddenberry worked closely with set designers, costume designers, and special effects teams to create a believable and immersive vision of the future. The result was a unique blend of optimism, drama, and humor that continues to captivate audiences today. In conclusion, Gene Roddenberry's directorial vision for Star Trek was shaped by his creative influences, his commitment to diversity, and his collaborative approach to storytelling. His legacy continues to inspire new generations of writers, directors, and actors, and his vision of a hopeful and inclusive future remains as relevant today as it was in 1966. Andrew. The production of the 1966 TV series, Star Trek, was a groundbreaking endeavor. The set design was revolutionary, with the USS Enterprise's bridge becoming an icon of science fiction. 
the designers meticulously crafted every detail from the multifunctional helm and navigation console to the captain's chair. The ship's corridors and sickbay were also carefully designed to depict a futuristic and sterile environment. The series was primarily filmed on the Paramount Studios lot in Hollywood. However, some exterior shots were filmed on location. For instance, the Vasquez Rocks Natural Area Park in California served as the backdrop for several alien landscapes. The logistical challenges of filming were immense, with complex special effects, makeup, and costumes to manage. One innovative technique employed during production was the use of the DeZillu slit scan process to create the stunning space visual. This technique involved filming a moving beam of light against a black background, then combining it with live action footage to create the illusion of warp speed and other space phenomena. Moreover, the show's sound design was also pioneering. The engineers created a wide range of unique sound effects, from the iconic communicator beep to the hum of the warp drive. These sounds helped bring the futuristic world of Star Trek to life. Despite the challenges, the production team managed to create a series that has left an indelible mark on television history. Star Trek's influence can still be felt today, with its themes of exploration, diversity, and cooperation continuing to resonate with audiences worldwide. That entry may have stood up against hand lasers, but we can transmit the ship's power against it, enough to blast half a continent. The creation of the Star Trek score and soundtrack was overseen by renowned composer Alexander Courage. With his background in classical music and experience working on television shows like Gunsmoke, Courage brought a unique perspective to the project. He aimed to create music that would complement the narrative and emotional tone of each episode, often incorporating leitmotifs to represent different characters and themes. Courage's main title theme became one of the most recognizable aspects of the show, featuring a bold brass section accompanied by strings and woodwinds. This combination conveyed both a sense of adventure and exploration while also maintaining a certain elegance fitting for the futuristic setting. When it came to creating individual scores for episodes, Courage worked closely with the production team, particularly director Gene Roddenberry. They discussed key scenes, character arcs, and plot developments to determine what kind of musical support would best serve the story. For instance, during moments of high drama or tension, Courage might employ dissonant chords or unexpected harmonies to heighten the emotion. On the other hand, more lighthearted sequences could call for lively, upbeat melodies. One notable example is the episode City on the Edge of Forever, where Courage used a haunting solo violin piece to underscore the tragic romance between Captain Kirk and Edith Keeler. This choice added depth and poignancy to their relationship, making its inevitable demise all the more heartbreaking. Other musicians who contributed to the Star Trek soundtrack include composers George Dooning, Jerry Fielding, and Saul Kaplan. Each brought their own style and approach to the task, further enriching the overall musical tapestry of the series. Their collaborative efforts resulted in a richly diverse collection of pieces that continue to resonate with fans today. Throughout the entire process, these artists remained dedicated to enhancing the viewer's experience by providing an auditory backdrop that subtly yet effectively reinforced the visual action unfolding on screen. In doing so, they left an indelible mark on the annals of TV history, forever associating their work with the groundbreaking spirit of Star Trek. One of the most iconic scenes in the 1966 TV series Star Trek is undoubtedly the fight between Captain Kirk and the Gorn in the episode Arena. The scene is a masterclass in tension building, with the slow reveal of the Gorn creating a sense of dread and anticipation. Director Joseph Pevney uses a stark, minimalist setting to heighten the sense of isolation and danger. The rocky, barren planet's surface becomes a battleground where Kirk's cunning and resourcefulness are truly put to the test. The performance of William Shatner as Captain Kirk is exceptional, conveying a sense of determination and grit that is utterly compelling. Shatner himself has spoken about the challenges of filming the scene, recalling how the heavy Gorn costume made it difficult for the actor inside to move. This only added to the sense of otherworldliness and danger, making the Gorn seem like a truly formidable foe. The cinematography by Gerald Finnerman is also noteworthy. The use of wide shots to establish the vastness of the landscape and close-ups to capture the intensity of the fight create a visual language that is both epic and intimate. The scene is shot in a way that makes the audience feel like they are right there in the thick of the action, cheering Kirk on as he battles for survival. 
The impact of this scene on the audience cannot be overstated. It has become one of the most enduring and beloved moments in the Star Trek franchise and has inspired countless homages and parodies. The scene has transcended the boundaries of the show itself, becoming a cultural touchstone that continues to resonate with audiences today. In the words of Star Trek producer Robert Justman, the scene is a classic example of how to build tension and drama on a limited budget. It is a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of the Star Trek team and a shining example of what can be achieved with a great script, strong performances, and innovative cinematography. But in our society, it'd be useless. The groundbreaking 1966 TV series, Star Trek, quickly became a phenomenon that captivated audiences and left an indelible mark on popular culture. Despite its initial cancellation after three seasons, the show's influence continued to grow over time, sparking thoughtful conversations about pressing social issues. Set in the future, Star Trek presented a hopeful vision where humanity had overcome many of its past struggles enabling diverse individuals to work together towards a common goal, exploration, and discovery. This optimistic perspective struck a chord with viewers seeking solace during turbulent times marked by civil rights movements, political unrest, and space race tensions. Star Trek dared to tackle complex subjects like racism, sexism, and war through allegorical storytelling. One notable example is the episode Let That Be Your Last Battlefield, which critiqued racial prejudice by featuring two alien races divided solely based on the color of one side of their faces. Episodes like these encourage viewers to question societal norms and reflect upon their own biases, thus contributing to broader discourse surrounding equality and inclusivity. Moreover, Star Trek played a pivotal role in advancing representation both on and off screen. Characters such as Uhura, a prominent black female communications officer, challenged conventional stereotypes prevalent during that era. In fact, Martin Luther King Jr. himself praised Nichols' portrayal and inspired her to remain on the show despite considering leaving due to limited roles for people of color. Behind the scenes, Gene Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek, fostered a welcoming environment for women and minorities, further breaking barriers within the entertainment industry. Aside from addressing serious topics, Star Trek also introduced iconic elements that would become synonymous with science fiction, including memorable catchphrases, unique alien species, and futuristic technology. These innovations have since permeated various aspects of our daily lives, inspiring actual inventions and influencing technological development. In essence, Star Trek transcended its original run and continues to reverberate within contemporary society shaping modern narratives while encouraging dialogue around vital social concerns. Its lasting legacy serves as a testament to the power of imaginative storytelling and underscores the importance of inclusive representation within media. Stand up to our tractor beam and... Don't give me any double talk. Just tell me who you are. We'll tell you what we decide to tell you in a few moments. Upon its release in 1966, the television series Star Trek received a mixed reception from critics and audiences. However, over time, it has become a cultural phenomenon and a beloved franchise. Some early reviews were negative, with critics panning the show's low production values and simplistic storylines. For instance, Jack Gould of the New York Times wrote that Star Trek was an oddly juvenile concoction that never quite comes off. Despite these initial misgivings, Star Trek quickly developed a devoted fan base, known as Trekkies or Trekkers. These fans appreciated the show's visionary concepts diverse cast, and positive message of cooperation and exploration. Over the years, Star Trek has received numerous awards and nominations, including several Emmy Awards and a Peabody Award. The show's creator, Gene Roddenberry, was posthumously awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1994. The accolades bestowed upon Star Trek are a testament to its enduring appeal and influence. The show's themes of diversity, inclusivity, and innovation have resonated with audiences for over five decades, inspiring countless spin-offs, movies, and other forms of media. The awards and nominations also recognize the contributions of the talented cast and crew members who brought Star Trek to life. The show's diverse and groundbreaking cast, including William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy, Nichelle Nichols, and George Takei, helped to pave the way for greater representation in media. In short, the critical reception and awards received by Star Trek are a reflection of the show's lasting impact on popular culture and its ability to inspire and entertain audiences for generations to come.
unquestionably a warp, a distortion of physical laws. The production of Star Trek in 1966 was filled with challenges and memorable moments for the cast and crew. For instance, the show's creator, Gene Roddenberry, had a unique approach to managing the writers. He would often lock them in a room until they came up with a story. This unconventional method led to the birth of many captivating episodes. The series also had its fair share of technical difficulties. The iconic communicator badges, for example, were initially designed to flip open, but the mechanism kept failing. Eventually, they had to be redesigned to simply pop up. William Shatner, who played Captain Kirk, was known for his enthusiasm and energy on set. However, he often improvised his lines, which caused issues during post-production. The sound editors had a tough time sensing his audio with the lip movements of his character. Despite these challenges, the cast and crew formed a close-knit community. They would often gather for meals in the studio's commissary, sharing stories and laughter. Leonard Nimoy, who played Spock, was particularly popular among the crew. His dry wit and humility made him a beloved figure on set. Behind the scenes, the show's costume designer, William Ware Thias, was a master of his craft. He created the distinctive Starfleet uniforms, which were designed to look both futuristic and practical. Theus also designed the show's alien costumes, often using unconventional materials like foam and plastic. In conclusion, the making of Star Trek in 1966 was a unique blend of creativity, innovation, and camaraderie. Despite the challenges, the cast and crew managed to create a show that has left an indelible mark on television history. Without a doubt, Star Trek, the 1966 television series, has left an indelible mark on film history. This groundbreaking show, with its unique blend of science fiction and socio-political commentary, served as a pioneer for future storytellers. The original series only ran for three seasons, but its influence transcended its modest run. Star Trek dared to depict a future where diversity was celebrated, and cooperation between different species was not only possible but essential. This visionary approach resonated with audiences, leaving a lasting impact on the genre and the culture at large. The series also introduced a host of memorable characters, each with their distinct personalities and growth arcs. Captain James T. Kirk, the stalwart leader, and Mr. Spock, the logical Vulcan, became cultural icons, symbolizing the classic struggle between emotion and reason. Star Trek inspired a franchise that includes multiple television series and films. The first film, Star Trek The Motion Picture, was released in 1979, nearly a decade after the original series ended. This film, and the subsequent movies and series, continued the legacy of the original, expanding the Star Trek universe and keeping the spirit of exploration and diversity alive. The series also influenced a generation of filmmakers. J.J. Abrams, director of the 2009 film Star Trek, cited the original series as a significant influence on his career. Similarly, Ryan Coogler, director of Black Panther, drew inspiration from Star Trek's optimistic vision of the future. In addition, Star Trek inspired numerous subsequent works. The Next Generation, a follow-up series that aired from 1987 to 1994, continued the legacy of the original, introducing a new crew and new adventures. Other series, like Deep Space Nine, Voyager, and Enterprise, further explored the Star Trek universe, each bringing its unique perspective and themes. In conclusion, the 1966 television series Star Trek has left a lasting legacy and influence on film history. Its impact on future filmmaking and the plethora of works it inspired serve as a testament to its enduring appeal and relevance. The possible existence of a parallel universe has been scientifically conceded. Yep. The groundbreaking 1966 TV series Star Trek has left a lasting impression on many. Do you recall the first time you saw an episode? The show's visionary concepts and compelling characters surely sparked curiosity and excitement. Gene Roddenberry's creation not only captured our imagination, but also inspired generations to explore science, technology, and human values. Did you know that Star Trek played a significant role in popularizing ideas like the cell phone and tablet computer long before they became reality? The series also tackled complex issues like war, racism, and morality, making us ponder our own beliefs and actions. Have you ever found yourself reflecting on these themes after watching an episode? Star Trek's influence extends beyond television, with numerous films, spin-offs, and even a theme park attraction. 
it has become a cultural phenomenon, shaping the way we view not only cinema, but also ourselves and our potential future. We would love to hear about your personal experiences and connections to this iconic series. Share your stories with us and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Star Trek together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic journeys. Together, let's explore the vast universe of film and television. Against us. Captain Dahl. Uh, here, sir. Is the alien still making...